<laughs> wait, wait, I might drop, I might drop. Hello, everybody. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's no, up? Listen, before we really get into it, so um, before we started, guys, they said that they want money, my audience members, for showing vibes. So we'll I went pool. ahead and I got the money together, right? So remember now, the money is right here for you. Put it right here. The vibes, yes. The vibes, yes. Get all of this money. Welcome to Daytime Live. Happy Friday, everybody. Craig it has been a while. What's up? Yeah, it's you been a good little while since different. we've been on the... What? You look a little different. Oh, yeah, what happened? No, you have new glasses. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My glasses, my glasses. Do I like them, I like them, I like them. All right, guys, don't forget to connect with us via our social media. You can use Instagram or Twitter at TVJ underscore Daytime Live or Facebook at TVJ Daytime Live. And if you want to be a part of the Vibes audience on television, <laughs> log on. Yeah, log on, log on. <laughs> Make sure you log on to televisionjamaica.com and get listed. And you can catch back episodes of the show by onespotmedia.com. But in the meantime, let's get buzzy. All right, so a string of Instagram posts um, led Shook J Knight's followers to believe that Tupac is in fact still alive. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. And he's living in Malaysia. So that's what I'm saying. Oh. I'm saying Mal so it's been over two decades since Tupac's unfortunate death. In 1996, Tupac and Shook, they were going to a Mike Tyson fight mm -hmm. at MGM Grand in Las Vegas. As they were driving to the after party, a car pulled up and opened fire on Tupac's car. He was pronounced dead six days after. So how is Six it? days after though. Six days after okay. that. So yeah, well, he was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it was a rough time for a whole heap of people. But like, how is it that in 2018, is Tupac still, still alive. alive? And it's not him, Duffy. Is we don't well it could be I don't know I will put up his stories go out still. but like so I mean this is one of the biggest conspiracy theories surrounding artists yes. from ever since like everybody always believed that Tupac actually escaped the shooting and right. that he was living in some foreign country okay but as an artist we know say true that so so because Shug, I mean me Shug see Knight Tupac hold on man hold on me okay. see Tupac a cactus one time when cactus was what? there Tupac living a poor more than in a headshot nobody <laughs> never see Tupac a headshot okay tell you what he looks like Tupac Tupac, he looks like Tupac. Everybody looks like Tupac. He's still alive. But the thing is, Shu claims that the video he has, Shug Knight's son, that's Shug, Shug Shug Knight's son, right, has a video. It's about what? How many it's seconds? It's a couple of seconds. It's just a man look up and do a thing. And, and he says that's Tupac. Yes. Yeah, right, you say. try. Let me see if it look like Tupac. Look up. Yeah, yeah, you're yes. like too far. Too far like. <laughs> no, but I saw another video with the, with the actual you that 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 Shook Jr. post actually rapping, and you can see say it's not. It's not too far. It's not too far. No, not too far. Too but I do like his music though. So yeah, if yeah, you yeah. are alive, too far, you know, give us a link at TVJ underscore Daytime Live or at TVJ Daytime Live. Let's have you on. How is that? How is that? Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> so the mystery of more than a thousand U.S. dollars that disappeared from a Utah family was solved when they discovered that the money was in pieces in the home's shredder. Wow. <sighs> they then discovered that the culprit was their two-year-old son. Aww. <laughs> How do you get vexed with that? <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so Ben and Jackie Belknap of Holiday, they have been saving this money to repay Ben's parents. Could he money to well shredded? Yeah. <laughs> for University of Utah football season tickets and they saved over a thousand US dollars. It's about a thousand and sixty dollars. All nice right. put in an envelope. They're searching for the money. Can't <laughs> find it because it disappeared over the weekend. <laughs> then the mommy's digging through the trash, you know, because maybe she accidentally threw it out and appears with the shredder and all the money. Shred up proper, proper, proper. Proper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Properly viewed. What? Theater. What do? You, oh, he's so cute. What do you do? Look at him. I mean, what do you are, do? What you gonna do? Is that you? What you can't. What you can't. What you can't. What you mean? All right. What? Technically, what I want to know though. Hold on, hold on. If I you know ever you notice, you know, these 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 model American families on, on like the TV and stuff, you always notice that no matter what the child do, they always say, Good job. Good job. To me, Good what job. I don't know. If all right. <laughs> let me let me <laughs> for them find the money them say that. Let me tell you what happened. Apparently the mommy has this way of including her son mm. when she's shredding okay. certain documents and he helps oh, mommy. So he was helping mommy. So though. he was helping mommy. But why does he have access to the shredder? Yeah, that's kind of dangerous, though. His little finger.
fingers yeah, can get caught in it. Can, yeah, yeah, that kind of dangerous still. But I don't hear nobody talking about it. There's something good from the story. Apparently in the U.S. you can take this money and return it to the U.S. Department of Treasury I mean. Mutilated Currency Division I mean. and get it exchanged. What do you mean? Meaning that she can take the, the mummy or the, the parents money. can take the shredded money. Oh, what are you talking about? Carry it to this. U.S. Department of something, something, Treasury, mutilated something, oh, yes, and sir. actually get back. The I know money. Bank of Jamaica would take like torn money still, but shredded, shredded money? money. As long as you put it all together, oh, yes, take sir. it to them. I think we need that in Jamaica. So hold on, I wonder if we take one hundred U.S. right and shred it up. Fine, fine, fine. If we can tell them say five hundred. <laughs> no, because they have, money, you know? they have the facilities to put it together and ensure yeah. that you're giving them the right amount. Mm. You can't even the system. You can't even the system. Well, that's yes, cute. Though. That's cute. In a word yes, anyway, <laughs> well, let's move on. This so, award-winning dancehall artist Sean Paul is putting his money where his mouth is. More so money. Hopefully, he's not in the shredder. So, <laughs> so the, the artist having made a call to, for a welding plant located near the National Stadium pool to be relocated due to possible health hazards that it presented. So he's now offering to provide the financial assistance to the relevant authorities to complete the awesome. move. Awesome. Awesome. He says that I'm passionate about Jamaica's athletes and the energies that they put into the rep representing the country. I'm also conscious of the potential health and mm -hmm. safety risks for everyone who chooses to use the facility. Not just swimmers, but netball players, basketball mm -hmm. athletes, parents, coaches, lifeguards, vendors, and all of the staff at the stadium are equally negatively affected as they're in close proximity with the plant. So basically what he's love saying that. is he's asking, of course, I love it too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sean used to play water polo for Jamaica. So he, he has a vested interest in the swimming yes. and the pool and happenings there. So, and he understands that the health hazard will pose a risk. So yes. I like the fact, as it says, that he's putting his money where his mouth is and, and actually I, I, helping. I hope he, they're listening, it. yeah, and they're ready to get on board. I mean, how many people actually come forward like that and say, listen, not only am I suggesting this, but I'm ready to get involved and help. So big up, Sean Paul. I really appreciate that. Definitely. Really appreciate that. He, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Big up, big up, big up. Well. Yeah. We should, we should also give a round of applause to Major Desmond Brown. He's the um, general manager of Independence Park Limited. And they are the managers of the, of the stadium complex. And he responded quickly to Sean Paul's, Sean Paul's request. So, big up on himself. Big, big up. up on himself. Um, what's the name again? Let me see it again. Independence, Independence Park, Park Limited. Limited. Like that name, that you like it? Yeah, I'm like yeah it's copyrighted still. It, so, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> feel independent yeah. <laughs> all right so our co-host joel you guys know joel you know jo all right one thousand no, dollars for all of you no, yes no. <laughs> our co-host joel he's been in new york okay bad mining him right now and he's been living it up but also checking out the ladies from uh, the view from abc's uh, the view and he decided to send this video so that we can be even more jealous of him watch so let's carefully watch, watch it carefully watch what he's doing yes What you know? What you mean? Oh, Show them how the yard do it yes, right. <laughs> Yeah, my God. You saw him going like him innocent him in here? Of us. <laughs> He's the only single one there, single man there. So leave it up here, Joel. When you come back, please Somehow tell us the story. Somehow him know. Stories. That means him do a survey, man. Of course. He had intentions. <laughs> he had intentions. All right, daytime live shout outs. Daytime live shout outs. Who do you have? Right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, so Marcia Reed says, shout out to my friend Carly and her daughter Shanique. Shanique Burke um, is missing two weeks now. Oh, no. Mm. And I pray for her safe, safe return. We all pray for her safe return. Mm. Carly, keep the faith. Um, God never fails. But uh, also, yeah, man, Marcia, I, I really, I really think you post a picture on our Facebook page, and we'll and we'll yeah, repost we'll it. it. We'll put it up on our Instagram page as well, as much as we can do to help you mm -hmm, find mm -hmm. um, Shanique. We will do. Mm, I'm really sorry about that. Um, now I feel bad to read this. No, you know what? All right. So a big shout out to the daytime live crew, and also to my lovely self. Yeah. And my mom, Desreen, yeah. my dad, Errol, my friend, Carla, Rihanna, Alea, knows. Palm and everybody else big up on herself. Nose and palm. Nose and palm. We should wow. put a foot and a finger <laughs> in there too. So this one is coming from um, Trevisha French. Uh, she says, I want to say big shout out to Brittany Chinti or Chintia. Bright eyed Don Don. I'm a <laughs> loving baby daddy Jeremy. <laughs> Her loving baby. I love it. <laughs> from Barrett Skullbus. 
So Barrett Skullbus says, shout out to my good as friend Sparta Gal Abby, sis Mad. for life, yeah. until death do us part. Yeah. Shout out to the daytime life crew, especially Craig T. Oh, yeah. Love you badly. Mad. Well, I know. Listen to this. Oh, Sadiq, hope you're not jealous. <laughs> Tell her oh, what, Barrett, if Trisha is good, we can share. It's no problem. It's no problem. <laughs> and then she continues to say, shout out to my mother, Jeline. I'm a nice, clean son case. I love you badly. That's Man. right. Big up, Barrett. All right, so Leisha Doyle is saying shout out to the entire daytime life crew. Big up yourself, Leisha. Yes, yeah. and I have a birthday one here. No, wait, I have a birthday one. Aha, Elizabeth Sams Hutchinson. Happy birthday. Today's your birthday. So she posted on our Facebook page. Shout out to me. It's my birthday today. So let's give her a happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Yay. Happy birthday. All right. All right. Things again. Things again. You know, you guys thought I was joking, you know. I said the vibes is audience on Jamaican television. So here we are. So we have a giveaway. Okay. For anyone who can name just one presenter from ABC's The View. Just one presenter. This, put your hand up, this nice goodie bag will be for anyone who can name just one presenter. You ready? You ready? All Short right. It Short it out. You have a mic. Oh, you have a mic. Use it. <laughs> testing, testing. You can give us a hint. <laughs> Are that you all up your for? <laughs> Anyone else That's wants it. to use a mic? Whoopi Goldberg. Hey! You win. What's your name? What's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina, run, come up here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Give her, <laughs> give her a round of applause. So, Sabrina wins something. Can, do you know this brand? You I'm don't know. know. You're going to know it now. <laughs> you see, because I know the brand, Sabrina. Here, what's I going to do? I'm going to share it with you. Uh, I, I joke, I joke. Here you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Sabrina. Congratulations. Round of applause. Awesome stuff. The daytime live will be right back after after the break. Woo, Big woo, up for the self audience. Respect.